non-autistic brain or an holistic brain and an autistic brain. What are the differences? This information's gonna knock your socks off. These are neurons and they're the building blocks of our brain. This one right here belongs to an allistic brain, a non-autistic brain, and this one belongs to an autistic brain. You see these little branches right here? Those are called synapses. Those allow the neurons to communicate and exchange information in the brain. So the question is, why does the autistic brain have more synapses than the non-autistic brain? When humans are born and they start to develop their brains, they get excess neurons and synapses. And the brain goes through a process called synaptic pruning. Synaptic pruning is where the brain starts to refine and remove unused connections. An autistic brain does a heck of a lot of pruning up to about 50% by the time the person's a young adult. The autistic brain only reduces about 16% of those synapses. More synapses, more information to process. What's this mean for all you non-autistic people out there? Allow the autistic person some more time to process because those synapses are firing back and forth. <laughs> I'm gonna do more neurobiology videos and they're gonna be better than any Netflix show that's out there, I promise you. So make sure to follow for more.